they've invited me to give the commencement address at the industrial engineering school and, and listen to me talk right now. Well, and what on earth? And you know that, uh, and is this, is this been confirmed that I am giving the commencement address at the civil engineering department? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. thanks to me. Well, oh, okay. Let's get this straight. I feel like the industrial engineering department is a fan of mine. In 2019, they gave me an award. Or maybe 2018, or maybe 20, I don't know when it was. We were both asked to give the respective commencement addresses. We turned it down at the time because of schedule. And then when it resurfaced, the conversation was about you giving the commencement oh, address yeah, in yeah, industrial yeah. engineering. And so- They it, thought it, better about you. And then when you decided that you were gonna do it, I was like, well, I should probably offer my services to the civil engineering department. And so that is what is happening. No, that that was what was going to happen, and then it was COVID, and we it didn't happen at all. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then there was an invitation again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it was to me. Well, it was and to me this like, most recent time. <laughs> I like my my version of the story is your version of the story always puts you in the center. We know, Link. <laughs> no, I was asked to give the commencement speech again, and then uh, you were like. I'll offer my services again. Well, because I, <laughs> if you're gonna go, if you're gonna take, it's like your trip, if you're gonna go take a weekend away. Right. I mean, if you're oh, gonna I, go back to North Carolina. And I here's mean, the thing, hi, having uh, taken a tour of the engineering school and interacted with some of the students, which I'm about to tell you about, I feel like I'm probably better prepped than you at this point. Well, that was my point exactly. I'm not prepped in any way. Well, I, after I have no business to, doing this. I'm honored, but I have. Well, as I will make Very clear, I don't have any business doing it either, but I don't think that's why they're talking to us. Yeah. I, after talking to the fungus lady, uh, went into a, a materials lab, and there were three guys in there, and they were they were ready, man. They had a little, they were ready Song to and talk dance. about it. And he, and he hand, was handing Welcome me stuff. Welcome to our lab. You know, it wasn't quite that engaging. Uh, but he did say, we are working on self-healing carbon materials, carbon fiber and some other material. I was like, and that was the moment I said, I feel that? like every time, every conversation I start in this place feels like the beginning of a dystopian yeah. thriller, you know? Yeah, so I ended up, just so you know. This could go sideways. Ended up telling them to be careful too. Oh yeah. So I am. I, so my message, just letting you know, I'm giving you a little preview of my commen commencement. Is, is be careful. Be careful, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You it's don't know the power that you wield. Yeah. You're gonna be the reason that this all self healing. Implodes. Self healing. How does that work? So essentially, like, let's say you had a wing that was made out of carbon fiber. You know, which is a great idea, right? We've got a very light, mm -hmm. uh, strong material. Well. They actually talked about a um, a heat activated adhesive, and I said like a chip bag, right? We've done that on Good Mythical Morning. We mm -hmm. resealed a chip bag with a with a flat iron. You know that was what I had to offer. Mm -hmm. Just so you understand. Yeah, you made yourself. The we're center. still doing engineering. Yeah, that's what are. I learned. Right. And so they basically have layers They're of- They're like, no, not exactly. They have layers of heat activated ad adhesives that are inside the carbon fiber structure and then they have very small wires that go through that so that they can conduct an electrical current through it that will activate it. And, and it, when there's a break or something, it automatically activates the current? I, once they- no, I don't know exactly. I mean, I'm sure that might be what they do at some point, um, but I think you can turn like hit the self-healing button. Again, we're in the early stages of this link. We at the NC State Engineering School. Okay. You know, I'm a part of that. I've been to on a tour. Yep. Um, but it, anyway, it was super cool. I did Once he started talking about how it works and how it lays itself back down, and that was when I, I was like, yeah, self-healing. You, you had me at self-healing. You yeah. had me in the lobby, really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, I can't. I talked to somebody else who was doing something else, uh, but I, they, they can they make it cry. Uh, it's not. It's not a. It doesn't have a soul yet. Okay. Like I feel like when it gets hurt, it should cry, and that should be the that should be the external well, notification that put, hey, I'm self healing right now. You can put that in your commencement speech, but then I want to fly in a plane that cries. Doctor Lavelle was like, I've gathered some students. Engineering scholars, I think he said. Oh, he was like they're basically like 
engineering students who are leading in different areas, I've gathered them in a Smarty room. Smarty pants. They're in there with some pizza and some soda. Oh, hell yeah. And I would like you to have a word with them. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I would like you to give them some remarks. Here we go. And, I, and, and he was like, do, like, do you need any time? I was do like, you need any time? I was like, no, man. Oh, God. You're standing. I was like, you, 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 you're about to ask me to do what I do best. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, Impromptu speaking. We just, just start talking to people <laughs> in a crowd. And, Do you need uh, any time? I would. I'd have probably been like, yeah, and then I would have bolted. Man. And I love the fact though, because we sit down in there, and he's like, uh, the way he framed it was, uh, Rhett has some things that he wants to share with you. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Do, some... oh, do I? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> Uh, Red, yeah, yeah. Red has some things. Do you need some time? Because I'm about to tell him you got some things. Yeah, let's you... let's see if I do have some things to share. Yeah, what did you do with that? Uh, well, I kind of went off of the fact that I had just experienced these things, these very cool things, and I used that to talk about, first of all, the fact that I felt like every conversation that I was having was the beginning of a dystopian novel and that they should be careful. So I kind of took my be careful theme and I gave it to them. Can I ask you? Another question? Is this a dumb one? This is a smart one. <laughs> okay. How, how many students were there? 20. Did you say 20? So that's a tough size. That's a tough size. How loud was your speaking voice? Like what tone did you use? Demonstrate that. Did you talk to them like you're talking to me right now? No, it was or more like. Or did you talk to them? It was more like, thanks for having me! <laughs> Because it was in the lobby, and it's a very, it's a very. You large, were on the other yeah, side. It's a of... large lobby. 